Hey everybody, Jeremy Myers here. Hey, I've got some big news. My new book on prayer is out today. So I'm pretty excited about that. And there are links there in the comment section or near the top of this video. I'm not quite sure how it shows on your Facebook page uh, showing you the links if you wanted to get it on Amazon. It's only $2.99. It's also available at Apple, Kobo, Barnes & Nobles, anywhere else. I wanted to do a quick video. Basically, the book is uh, about the questions that some Christians have about prayer. And it gives you sort of one simple truth, which will be a guiding principle to help you with all of your prayer life. So, um, you know, if you have questions about prayer, want to learn how to pray, how to get answers to prayer, what about unanswered prayer, uh, sample suggestions of what type of prayer requests you might be able to uh, present to God, uh, this book answers all of those sorts of questions about prayer. Now, at the end of the book, there's a chapter where I sort of deal with some other miscellaneous questions about prayer. And I just wanted to do, I'm going to do a, a, a couple quick videos today, later on today. I'm trying to keep them at five or six minutes or so, and um, we'll see how they go throughout the day. So one thing I often find from people is that they want to know if they can pray angry. <laughs> you ever been angry at God? Uh, I have been multiple times in my life, sometimes very, very angry at uh, what I thought he was or was not doing in my life, how I thought that he had let me down. And uh, in my experience, when people are angry at God, that is one time they feel like they cannot pray to God. I would invite you to think about prayer the opposite way. Uh, when you are angry at God, actually, that might be the best time for you to pray. Okay, and here's why. Uh, when you pray, when you're not angry, I, I feel like sometimes we Christians, we try to watch our language, we try to be careful with our words, we try to, you know, protect God's virgin ears or something like that. Um, and, uh, you know, we maybe use a spiritual sounding, pious language, and, and who knows, depending on your prayer tradition, maybe you... You use a lot of these and thous in your prayer. You know, you're trying to make it sound like you think God wants to hear, the, the type of prayers that you think God wants to hear. When in reality, I think the opposite is actually true. When we pray, and this is the big big truth in my book, when we pray, uh, God wants us to be real with him the same way we're real with anybody else. And I have found that when I am angry, <laughs> when I'm praying angry, that's when my heart really comes out. And I think that that is when uh, we are finally able to be honest with God, what we're thinking, what we're feeling. And God likes us to be honest with him, right? He doesn't want us to try to hide our true selves or our true emotions or what we're really thinking from him. He wants us to let it all out. And here's the thing. God can take it. So look, if you're feeling so angry at God that curse words and uh, you know bad language and all of your raw emotions start coming out at God, don't feel bad about that. He can take it. I promise you, there is nothing that you can say to God that he hasn't already heard a billion times before. He's not going to be offended. He's not going to be upset. He's not going to say, whoa, I can't believe you said that. He's not going to, you know, uh, cast you to hell because you let out a curse word or something when you're talking to God when you're angry. It's when you're talking to God in your anger. Uh, I have found that it's sometimes that is where he meets me in the most intimate and uh, special ways that I've, I've, I've ever experienced in prayer. And uh, so I would invite you, if you're ever feeling angry, frustrated, upset, let down, uh, confused by what is happening in your life, how God not seems, seems to be not coming through for you, um, go to God in prayer. Don't run from him. Definitely. One thing you should not do when you're angry is give God the silent treatment. That's tended to be sort of, we feel like, oh God, you, you really messed up there. You're not coming through for me. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. That's the worst thing to, can, to do. If your choice is between giving God the silent treatment and not talking to him or going to God when you're angry and letting out some words that maybe later you're going to regret, definitely. Choose to go to him in prayer. You know, even treat him like a punching bag if you need to. Uh, just let it all out, okay? And uh, he, he's not going to be upset. He's not going to cast you away forever, anything like that. Uh, remember, Jesus Christ went to the cross for you. And if he can do that, I don't care whatever words you say, he can take that. He will accept the pain of whatever you say 
out of his great love for you. That shows you how much he loves you and uh, wants to be with you. Um, uh, even the, the Psalms, you look at the Psalms, a lot of the Psalms are very angry. If you go read the Psalms, a lot of them are prayers, and many of them begin, God, how come you're doing this? How come you're letting my enemies come around and threaten my life and destroy me? God, where are you? You're blessing my enemies and cursing me, hurting me. What's going on here, God? Okay, when you're angry, yell at God. The psalmists do. Okay, you can too. And uh, I've done that myself. In my own experience, I'll just close with this. The times I have been angry and prayed angry at God, that is when I have heard God's voice in my life the most clearly, okay? Um, you know, it's been visceral anger at times, outrage at how he seems to have failed me and my family. Now, by the way, he's never failed me or my family. It's always been my theology, uh, my misperceptions, my confusion about what God is like and how God works. That's usually been the problem. And, uh, but you're never going to learn that unless you go to God, let it all out, and then he can come to you and say, you know what? Uh, that's not really the way I am. I don't really operate that way. The problem, Jeremy, was with you <laughs> and how you thought about me. Okay, so but when I come to God and I let it all out, it's then that I, I sense his presence the most in my life. And, I, you know, I treat him like a punching bag. And then I, I, it's almost like I feel him come wrap his arms around me. And he says, well done, Jeremy. I'm glad you let that out. You know, and this is what he says. Um, <laughs> I, I, I've I, I've been seeing that that in your heart and the, those ideas in your mind, and I've been wondering when you were going to talk to me about it. Uh, now that you brought it out, now that you brought it up in conversation with me, we can talk about it. And then he, you know, it's like he says this, and I don't hear an audible voice or anything like that. Don't get me wrong; it's it's a sort of a sense or a feeling, something like that. And I think you'll feel the same way. But. But uh, after I let it all out, he wraps his arms around. He says, okay, let's talk about it. And then he says this or something like this. You know, by the way, Jeremy, before we talk about this, I want you to know I love you. And nothing you have said could ever get in the way of my love for you. That is your, going to be your experience when you pray to God in your anger. I promise you, he can take it. Nothing you can say is going to hurt him, offend him, upset him. And if you go a little overboard, eh, admit it later in conversation with God. Say, God, you know, uh, last time I talked, I said some things in anger and I said some things at you that I probably shouldn't have. I'm sorry. He's, he, he forgives. He already has forgiven you. Okay. And, uh, but praying to God in your anger is one, going to be one of a, a great time of spiritual growth for you when you can take everything and anything to God, even when you're angry. So anyway, I do talk about that in my book, What is Prayer? It's on Amazon. You can just go search there for What is Prayer? It shows up. There's an ebook version for $2.99 and a paperback version as well. And by the way, if you, if you purchase the book before December 19th, so one week from today, um, send me an email at prayerbook, one word, at redeeminggod.com. All right? And I will send you some bonus materials, um, some videos. So this will be one of the videos. I will send you a free PDF downloadable copy of the book. You can print it off, share it with your friends if you'd like, uh, use it in Bible studies. Uh, I will send you eight audio lessons. It's a couple hours worth of material based on the book. I will send you, uh, if you want, some additional emails. You can opt into those to get some emails about other uh, teachings and ideas, instruction about prayer, those sorts of things. So anyway, go to Amazon. Just search for, search for What is Prayer or click on the link uh, in the video. And uh, then send me an email later this week, prayerbook at redeeminggod.com. And I'll send you access. I'll give you access to all those bonus materials. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you later. Bye.